last storyteller is Ms. Carla Miles. Uh, she was born and raised in Gainesville, Florida. Uh, she went back to school after 26 years to pursue a degree in health. She graduated summa cum laude in 2016 and worked as a nurse for the urological surgeon specialization in oncology. In 2018, she became the neighborhood revitalization coordinator for Alachua Habitat for Humanity. Uh, she is the BOD for Greater Duval Neighborhood Association and the Wild Spaces Public Places Oversight Committee. Uh, she's been the panelist on subjects ranging from housing and community economic development to prison reform, transportation, and education. She is married to Andrew Miles, and they have a family of eight children and six grandchildren. Uh, last but not least, our final storyteller of the night, Ms. Carla Miles. And just so we're clear, all eight of them are not mine. That's a combined <laughs> to share my story. So imagine this. Imagine a 43-year-old mother, two grown children, one teenage boy, deciding to go back to school for the first time. The tenacity is out of the roof. After a lifelong journey through drugs, loss of jobs, starting off making $25 an hour down to minimum wage, disparity, I'm excited. This mother's excited and I'm tenacious. I got the tenacity because I'm in it to win. Mm -hmm. There's none stop. All the mistakes that I learned from my childhood, I'm gonna use them now and I'm ready. Imagine running down to the RTS bus station mm -hmm. the weekend before school starts and pulling out that route because I'm a planner. I have a little tip of OCD, so I, I like everything has to line up and I got to know everything that's going on. Organization is my key. So I lay out my plan and I'm getting ready to plan out my bus route because I have no transportation. And I look and I'm still excited and I'm tenacious and I look and I say, ooh, I gotta be up at five o'clock. My class don't start until 8.30, but I gotta leave my house at five o'clock. Leave my house, I walk to the bus stop first day of school because I'm tenacious, I'm 43. I know what the importance of this, importance of this education. I know what life has taken me through. I know what it takes to overcome that. And I'm ready. So I strike out every morning, 5 o'clock, in the dark, sometimes in the rain with my umbrella because there are no covers mm -hmm. over a lot of our bus stops. Mm -hmm. And if you want proof, I took a picture at one. Okay. So y'all can have me <laughs> show it afterwards. Where the grass is this high, but I'm standing there with my umbrella. There's nowhere to sit. I'm standing there with my umbrella on 8th Avenue but I'm ready every morning in the dark. Yep. So I catch that one bus that comes along and as I'm on my way to Rosa Park day one, I see the bus that it says I'm due to catch just slide right on by me. Ooh. And so I get down there and they say, don't worry, honey, another one will be here in 20 minutes. By that time it's daybreak hmm. and I'm sitting there and I'm waiting and sure enough, here comes the bus one. The bus one takes me out to Publix and I sit there because once I get there, the bus 75 has already left. Mm -hmm. Like the young man said, it's not just the east side of town, it's yeah. wherever we are mm -hmm. that there's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I get to the west side of town where it's time to move and I run into another delay. Mm -hmm. But I sit there while I'm sitting there, the bus 12 that services the college students has passed me mm -hmm. seven times, mm -hmm. I'm counting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's passed me so much that it has to wait because it's empty and there are no students there mm -hmm. to catch it. But I'm sitting there in the dark, thank God for Publix, croissants and Starbucks coffee. Okay. <laughs> so I wait there and I finally get to a non-traditional school, City College is where I went. And I get out there and I finally arrive 8.15, about three hours after I left my house. Wow. But I'm tenacious, because I'm 43, I got two grown girls that I'm trying to set an example for and show them what hard work will get you. So I keep going. After about a year of paying that $35 a month to catch the bus, I find out I sit by this young lady and I say, so y'all get on and put a pass. How much you pay for that pass? And she said, it's provided to us. She said, I go to UF. I don't pay to ride the bus, neither does the staff. So my mom is like, well, I wonder if you can use my card, no. Cause like I said, I'm a stickler for order. 
can pay my own way. But I also know how to advocate, so I go to my school and I'm like, how can we get one of those passes that UF and Santa Fe now I found out that has? And he said, yeah, we don't do that. We don't do that. So I went to RTS and I said, listen, I'm in college and I'm trying to complete. And this $35 seems like a little bit of money to some people, but to a person with no income and living off her husband's retirement salary, it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So they say the best we can offer you is the students ride at half price. That's the high school students. Here I am going to college. So we'll sell you the bus pass at $17.50 if you bring your city college ID. So on that $17.50, my tenacious self, finished school, like he said, summa cum laude, I'm very proud of that. Who pays, whose tuition is three times as much as Universal Florida, yeah. but they won't provide me with a bus pass to get there. The only reason why they agreed to pay half of our RTS is because attendance dropped. Because girls like me who had children, younger than mine, because I'm 43 and I got grown children and a teenage son who can get around on their own, some girls didn't have that. And so they didn't come. And that's when they decided to go down to 1750. So finally, I graduate school. I do that for two years, tenacious, 5.30 every morning, rain, sleet, or snow. I'm so good to now I got a nursing uniform and I keep telling myself that this sweat that's on me, because we have no covers for shade, mm -hmm. is keeping me cool, actually. That's what my tenacious <laughs> self tells me. That this is what keeps you cool when you have to walk that half a mile back to your house, because it's not a bus stop right there. So I got to walk over there down to Walmart. But my tenacious self does that for two years, and I graduate. <laughs> now, imagine I'm 23 years old, and I got me three babies. I'm not tenacious. Hmm. I don't have no grown children. I don't have the maturity. I haven't been through life lessons. I don't know the importance. And even if I do, I don't know what it means to me, how it's relevant to me. Hmm. But I do know this. I know I've been told by the state of Florida that you don't go get no job, we're going to cut off all your benefits. Because mm -hmm. you lazy, is what society say. Mm -hmm. You're sitting down, so you need to get up and go to work. So here I am, taking that bus schedule, and I'm finding that schedule for 5.30 in the morning. <coughs> I'm not 43 in today. I'm 23, and I'm standing in the dock with my three babies. And over there, I hear a little thunder roll, and I'm thinking to myself now, the bus is going to stop running at 6. I need to go and find some job leads because job services of Florida say I have to have 30, so many in a week done. Only so many can be done, you know, by computer and all that. You got to go in there and put in that work. So now here I am to put in my work, of course. There's a problem with child care, too, so I got to to keep my babies. But my homegirl on the west side say, I'll watch them for you while you go out. So now I'm looking at that cloud, and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, Am I going to make it with my babies? And yeah, I'm going home. Okay. I try again when it's a clear day. So I get up one day and it's sunny. And I go down to the bus stop. And oh my goodness, they put us a bench there. That's awesome. They got a bench. So I prop my one of my babies up on it. And, oh, mommy, ow! Because there's no shade there. So that bench is there in the heat. This floor is 95 degrees and I'm not tenacious. And now I'm angry because it don't burn my baby's home a little upset. So I'm trying to schedule out my day because I got to leave myself time to get back because that last bus is going to start me at Rosa Parks if I'm not on the right one. And I can't walk with my babies like that because I'm not tenacious. I'm not lazy. I'm just not tenacious. I'm not mature. I'm not 43. I haven't been through life lessons. I don't know about persevering through. I know that I can't do this with my babies. But I need my food stamps. So reluctantly, I'm going to go out in this heat. I take that same bus ride that that 43-year-old took to the west side of town to drop my babies off. That's three hours already gone out of my day. It's now 9.30, 10 o'clock, so I catch the bus to my first leave. I got to walk down the road a little piece. So I walk in the door. I'm not tenacious. I'm hot. I'm tired. I got three children, they all under six. My babies are irritated. I don't read the bus, I don't roll the bus, I'm, I'm squished up and, and everything. I come out and now I gotta go in this place with this employment. I fill out this application, I'm hot, I'm sweaty, because remember, 
I've been up since five with my three babies traveling to the west side of town. And I'm out to look for this job. And I walk in and like, hi, sweetheart, how are you doing? Yes, we're hiring. Of course we are. And then when I leave out, they was like, did you see her hair? You see how she was sweating? She put nothing to her appearance. Where did she come from? And then I go back home and I do this after a month. But nobody ever calls me because they're throwing my applications away when I come in because I look like I have a unit. She got a problem. You know black people ain't working anyway. So she's got to have a problem going on. We don't need that here. When all it is is I'm not tenacious. I don't have transportation. I got babies. I don't know how to persevere. I don't know how to advocate for myself. So I go back home, and after a month, I'm sitting beside me. What can I do to supplement my income? Because they're going to cut me off for show. I'm not going back out there with my babies in that heat. And society looks at me like I'm tired and lazy. Mm -hmm. But all it is is 